number two battery electric uh, manufacturer seller here in the next couple years in the first inning of this transition. So I, I think it's both the, the base business and leaning into these connected electric vehicles. Since Jim Farley took over at Ford in 2018, he has been working to shake up the automotive industry. From committing to transitioning the company into a fully electric vehicle manufacturer to tearing up the dealership model for the future of EV sales, he has left no stone unturned. But now after losing over $2 billion last year, Farley is ready to make even more significant changes to compete with Tesla. So join us today as we delve into this video to know Ford's game-changing new business plan to revolutionize the industry and change everything. Let's begin. The past of Ford. Ford's recent financial report, which showed a loss of over $2 billion, clearly shows that the company's transition to electric vehicles has not been smooth. In response, Jim Farley, CEO of Ford, has introduced a new expansion plan called Ford Plus. This plan started in 2020 when the car manufacturer was divided into three divisions, dealing with ICE, EV and commercial products. Farley then turned his attention to Ford dealers, implementing new procedures to reduce markups. But they were unsuccessful. Eventually, he gave the dealers an ultimatum. Sell electric vehicles at MSRP with no markups or they would not be granted any EVs to sell. The introduction of Ford Plus represents a significant shift in the company's approach. It shows that Farley is willing to take risks to ensure Ford's success in the transition to electric vehicles. With the automotive industry rapidly evolving, Ford needs to adapt quickly and Farley's approach appears to be a step in the right direction. So what's the plan? After revealing its latest sales figures, it's evident that Ford still has much ground to cover. However, he clarified that they plan to remedy the situation with better execution and performance. To achieve this, Ford is rolling out a new and radical business plan to reduce costs and address recalls. Quality has been a recurring problem for Ford, and the company has had to deal with numerous recalls from various new model lines over the past two years. Quality problem in Ford According to Automotive News, Ford has been ranked as the manufacturer with the most recalls for two consecutive years with 65 recalls affecting over 8.6 million vehicles. Although Ford has already changed its leadership team to address these issues, more changes are expected. As Chief Financial Officer John Lawler stated in a recent conference call, the company must improve quality and lower costs. To increase production and improve quality, Ford halted production of the Mustang Mark E in January to modify its plant in Cualitlan, just north of Mexico City. The company has also been focused on improving efficiency. Henry Ford established the dealership model more than a century ago. Still, when looking at the companies that Ford is competing with, it's evident that none have dealerships or franchises. Tesla, the market leader, identified the shortcomings of this model years ago and avoided the traditional approach of selling through middlemen altogether. Instead, they sell directly online and through galleries wherever it's permitted, providing them with more control over the sales process and reducing the need for unnecessary price increases. Additionally, it prioritizes the customer's satisfaction by providing them with a relaxed car shopping experience, as opposed to the feeling of being taken advantage of by a highly trained sales negotiator. What's with the negotiation? Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford, plans to reduce operating costs at its dealership and increase online ordering to achieve a profit margin of 8% across the company. In an interview with Cars & Culture, Farley stated that job cuts are also being considered as it takes Ford 25% more engineers to complete the same work as their competitors. Last year, Bloomberg reported that Ford was preparing to cut up to 8,000 jobs, and a month later, 3,000 workers were laid off. Recently, Ford has been rumored to cut as many as 3,200 jobs in Europe, as they admitted to being 25% less efficient than they need to be. In addition, bonuses for salaried workers have been reduced with the bonus factor multiplied by 1.48, doubling the effort required to receive a bonus. However, upper management will receive a 90% reduction in their bonus factor. These measures are part of Ford's efforts to improve profitability and efficiency, with Farley leading the charge to transform the company and address the challenges of transitioning to electric vehicles. In a note written by CEO Jim Farley and CFO John Lawler, they acknowledged that cutting bonuses for upper management was difficult. Still, they emphasized that accountability begins with top leadership. They stated that senior leaders significantly impacted driving business results and must meet high standards to create a vibrant, profitable, and growing Ford. 
The company is committed to fostering a culture of excellence and taking accountability whenever performance falls short of expectations. The note reflects Ford's challenges in competing with industry leader Tesla, led by Elon Musk, who reported a 41% growth in production numbers in 2022, delivering over 1.3 million units compared to Ford's 930,422. In 2021, Tesla's profit margins were unparalleled compared to its competitors. They made 4.4 times more profit per car than their closest competitor. However, when looking at the margins before interest taxes, depreciation and amortization, EBITDA margin, another profitability gauge, Tesla was significantly ahead with a 22.4% margin in 2022. On the other hand, Ford had an 8.8% margin, making Tesla more profitable. An upcoming fireside chat with auto analyst Rod Leish will reveal and explain the new Ford Plus expansion plan. In addition, the executive team is expected to provide a detailed plan for further cost reduction measures and quality improvement and highlight other details about the ever-changing auto giant. What future has in the bag? The Auto Consumer Conference 2023 will occur in the New York City on February 15th. Despite being disappointed with the latest sales figures, Farley's optimism and excitement for the future of the business were evident. He expressed his eagerness to showcase the next cycle of products, stating, I can't wait to show you and the whole world. He also pointed out that many competitors were just releasing their first cycle of products and their batteries were too big, distribution costs too expensive, and advertising spending too high. Farley emphasized that Ford had no plans to follow that path. Jim Farley has to bring about a complete revolution in how legacy car manufacturers produce vehicles, but ironically they need to return to the basics of vertical integration, production efficiency, and sales innovations. In the early 20th century, Henry Ford transformed the auto industry by introducing the concept of mass production using assembly lines, which enabled faster car production than ever before. He also relied heavily on vertical integration, producing all the raw materials such as metals, glass, and rubber in-house processing them at the same factory and better control their supply chain. This approach enabled him to procure all the raw materials and components he needed to build cars at rock-bottom prices, resulting in unprecedented profit margins on his vehicles. Therefore, to revolutionize the auto industry, Jim Farley must embrace similar approaches and focus on enhancing production efficiency and sales innovations. Henry Ford's far-reaching sales franchise network gave Ford national and global reach, enabling them to achieve an unprecedented scale in the industry. In addition, Ford's innovations transformed the auto industry, making it more efficient and leading to growth. Jim Farley boldly revolutionized their production by integrating vertically, innovating, and automating the assembly line, and transforming how their vehicles are sold similar to Henry Ford's approach. When asked about what Henry Ford would think of Ford in 2023 during an interview with Morgan Stanley, Farley responded, I think you guys are way too slow, emphasizing the need for speed and innovation in the industry. Also, Jim Farley is making urgent decisions with far-reaching consequences as quickly as possible to meet his targets and avoid being left behind by Tesla. Farley aims for Ford to produce 2 million EVs annually by 2025 and has committed to investing over $50 billion to achieve this goal. To that end, two state-of-the-art factories, similar to a Tesla Gigafactory, have broken ground in Tennessee and Kentucky. Both will be vertically integrated, enabling them to deliver raw materials to one end and ready-to-sell electric vehicles out of the other. Farley is well aware that he needs to act fast to avoid becoming a blockbuster in the industry. And these measures are necessary to achieve his goals and keep Ford competitive. We would love to hear your thoughts on Ford's new strategy. Do you think they have what it takes to compete with Tesla? Or is it too late? Share your opinions in the comment section below and subscribe for more.